Hey everyone, welcome, welcome back here to my channel where I play Planet Zoo. My name is Nether and today we're gonna take a look at the Bighorn Sheep, which is a mod for Planet Zoo made by Leaf, j 2 bet and Narwhaler. This trio of mothers are very good in my opinion. Um, I think most of the mothers for Planet Zoo is really good at this point. Um, but besides that, uh, they made this Bitcoin sheep, which never have I ever spent so much time finding a picture for some of these videos because I wanted to show the booty. And um, here it is. There were other booty shops, but either it was un unfocused or watermarked or something like that. This was the best I could do. But they have this fairly unique booty with where it's pure white and pure white is fairly rare in nature uh, like off gray tan much more usual use usual <laughs> to see but pure white actually isn't that often um and now he turns so we can actually see the booty that's beautiful um and it's a pure cut between the otherwise brown or naturey color uh, and the booty. Uh, the white color goes down by the uh, down the hind legs, and we also have a stripe on the uh, behind the front legs. Then we have this dark tail, and you can't really see it on the picture, but the brown color from the coat actually go down the middle of the um, butt cheeks. And down to the tail, which are quite unique. It has these beautiful horns, though a little bit different for the females. The females have horns, which don't not all sheep females have, but these do. So uh, let's get in here. And um, yeah, this is the male. Again, he have a few scars. We had a female. Just checking. This is the female. Yes. Again, I haven't really looked at them because I want to give me you my honest reaction and opinion. But here she is. Clearly, the horns are very much different. And yeah, we have a goat, or we have a ibex in the game. We have a sheep in the game. But does this bring something new? Let's check. We have the alpine ibex here on the left. We have the big horn in the middle and we have a doll sheep to the right now if we had any kind of <laughs> yeah he wanted to be in the mix apparently if we have any kind of sheep and goats in here this would be less unique only the buttocks makes it unique then in my opinion but because we have the doll sheep that is white-ish again not a pure white animal it has this fairly yellowish tint to it which again i don't think a lot of people notice uh it does that sorry does that in the wild it's not something they do specifically on this mud but they have this off-white color in the wild where the buttocks here are pure white um the ibex is clearly also much different. Again, horns different texture. Again, this is a ibex. This, this is a sheep. But again, these do not appear like marine sheep or Suffolk sheep or normal like wool sheep. It appears more like a natured, uh, natured, a nature-ish sheep. So besides that, we also have a little bit of a, sh a head shape different. Uh, if you see here the angle here is more narrow compared to here where the angle goes more like downwards and outwards um, then we also have like the colorations like the patterns is of course different since this is one color um, horns is much the same again difference in sh uh, shape of the horn and again ibex i'm pretty sure you can see the differences here they are quite beautiful and i do enjoy them though keep in mind that all of the glitching might be my computer so it may not happen on yours i'm not gonna compare the females because 
Some of the things will be the same, and all of the things for the same female you can see on the male. Uh, differences between these subspecies. Uh, but again, Bitcoin sheep is, is a least concerned animal, and there is about 70,000 of them left in the wild. They belong in North America, uh, which include USA and Canada. I live in tiger, timbered, grassland, and the biomes. However, personally, I come like when I think of them, I would think of these regions more so. But again, I don't claim that it's wrong. That's not what I say. I, I say that's what kind of like when you think of a penguin, you think of the cold, but some of them live in Africa. That's just how it is. Um, one of them needs 425 square meters of land, nothing else, but they do swim. Uh, minus 6 degrees Celsius to 32. Keep in mind, especially desert and grassland, it will be too hot for them in the summer. You will reach the 42 degrees, so make sure they have a good shade they can go in and lay in. And again, tiger... Uh, I think temperate is included here, but tiger, it can be a little colder than minus six. Uh, you need a great two fence above four feet, 13, it's about a meter 25, I think. And going in here, you're going to have a group size of to 40, one male and 39 females. That's a lot of female per male. Uh, at least three, that includes all of them. Again, females groups up to 40 and males only up to 50. Dominant male hierarchy by age and horn size. Again, yes, but in captivity, if you only have one male, it's not an issue. But in the wild, they would fight for the right to have so many females um, in their specific group. So this is more like in nature and not in the game if you make sure only to have one. Um... They are polyamorous, neutral around humans, and guests cannot enter their habitat. Again, this is a more nature, not domesticated goat. Uh, they grow to about four, three feet tall, which is around 90 centimeters. Um, so quite big, actually. Um, sorry, just, uh, yeah. Um, 15 years both males and females what i do not believe is the fact that the both weigh 350 pounds which is roughly 175 i think uh kilos um the thing is though you see here, the male is bigger body size than the female. Not much, but it is. And the horns are heavy. So if you ask me, this should be at least a little difference, but I don't know everything. Uh, they reach sexual maturity at age five and can reproduce until they die. Get between one and two offspring a year and are pregnant for six months. Should be very easy to get to reproduce in captivity. Large enrichment here. I think it's the doll sheep they are made on. They do not have the climbing thingy. I would love them to have the climbing thingy because clearly not enough animals in plants do have the climbing thingy. A grab ball, herbs and marga, robin color, both scratching trees. We have the grassing ball feeder, small barrel feeder, and hanging grasser feeder. For in species enrichment, we do not have any. So, as I said, they do swim, and they swim, okay, like they are a little too low in the water. I would like to see a little more of the back, but it's not a lot, and this doesn't drown them, and this doesn't make them float. So it is within reach, reason, uh, I would say. Should we take a close-up of your magnificent beast? Love these. Keep in mind, animals that have horns, not antlers, horns. Every animal with things up there, don't touch them. But especially horns, because horns are not 
all bone, but inside the horn is a bone that is stuck to the skull, like a bone growing out of the skull. Uh, so don't pull the horns, please don't. Uh, we have this beautiful coloration that I mentioned before, where the um, doll sheep have more of this lighter color all around. This have this dark color on the side or the top and the back of it. Um, I think the model is the same though. Uh, eyes are goofy, which they should be. Have a little shine to it. It's beautiful and the shine do move around so you need to get the right angle to get the shine which i really appreciate fur texture though you can literally if you want to i'm not gonna but you can literally count every single strand of hair and i love it uh a little thing if i may say so and i can because it's my channel uh, the nose the line here is really cut off which make it seems unreal to me. I would like, he did take some hair strands to cover. I have two things to say about the three. I like that he did that. Two, I would like there to be more of them because right here, it isn't an issue. Right there it is. So he should just have done it all around, honestly. Three, they are the wrong direction because this strand of hair would go out this way you can see the hair strands go out this way and would continue out over the nose in this direction it would may bend a little bit downwards but it would still follow the general direction where here sorry it go whoop and then doof which again what is a small thing and he at least tried to do or they at least did something uh, now I'm going directly for the hoof because I expected the same thing. No, they didn't do any of it down here. But again, I would like the hair strands. You actually have the transformation here where you have the blackness. And then the hair covering the uh, itch between the blackness and this. They should just have removed the blackness, took the uh, hair strands further down and covered in the same manner the uh, top of the hoof that would have been beautiful here is the strand of hair and i will say though these this color is very light gray compared to some of the pictures i saw but it is still within the color scheme of the picture so like some of them are darker some of them are lighter it does seem here that we only have the one color variation but it is possible that there's a rarer one that i didn't find uh, the dark color comes from up here, as I mentioned before, going downwards between the butt cheeks and ending in the tail that gives this quite unique buttocks. I will just say, going over here, you can see the clean cut between the whiteness and the brownness of the butt cheek. Here it is a little more blurry, which... For the game makes it look more real because not a lot of animals have this clean cut color but they made it too blur blurry in my opinion also the whiteness oh sorry didn't continue far enough and it isn't on the back of the front legs small details that i just would like i would like this mud to go all the way because it is beautiful it is really beautiful i don't want anyone to get the idea that it's not uh, we can see through the eye there though but uh, again that's something we can do on a lot of mutts now should we find a female probably and again they're called big horns no matter if they're female or not but the females do not have big horns they do have horns which is more than most sheep. um again the female would have the same very sharp line here as the male so it's the same issue uh, again also with the back of the legs but the coloration here is quite beautifully done again this color is a little grayer, a little paler than most of the pictures I have seen, but I have seen 
also seen individuals in this color scheme. Um, most of it, I have the same pointers. I will say the nose is the same. Hoofs, the same. Though it looks like the for, fur is a little bit longer here uh, downwards than on the male, which helps it a little bit. And here you can see this beautiful texture of the female's horn. Do not, actually don't remember if the doll sheep female have horn. Uh, so I'm not sure if that's copied over or what it is. Uh, again, glitching, keep in mind that might be my computer. All of the animations I have seen this far seems fairly good and works well. We have some babies. This is one point one year old, and is it Daniel? Not Daniel, but Daniel. It's a female, and we have these small markings up here of horns, which is the cutest time if when all of animals that have antlers or horns, when they just that slide, when they get the first horns of our antlers, or what they're gonna get. It's so cute. Uh, again, don't touch them. Um, but yeah, it's cute. It's very fluffy, and honestly, the texture seems more woolen than the texture of the adult, as you see here. But not all sheep have this really thick, woolly wool coat that we have in domesticated sheep. We have bred domesticated sheep to have that woolly wool texture because we want to be able to remove it twice a year or once a year, depending on the species. Sheep in the wild do not have that luxury of someone removing their wool, so therefore they need the exact wool they want to have the entire year round. Of course, they can shed a little bit like most animals do. I'm not sure what happens with the triangle there. Um... Yeah, it stays there. It's not. It wasn't because of the animation either. Yeah. Um. We have. Yeah, it's also over here. Uh. No, it disappears now. Okay. Great. Um. But again, small detail. And again, everything I point out of about these are very, very small detail. But even though it doesn't have that sharp line and the right all the way down, I still feel like it's a really recognizable booty. Um, and the babies have this more less white color, <laughs> uh, which again makes a sense. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all I had about the bighorn sheep. They're cute. Very cute though. Uh, yeah, and it was by, once again, Leaf, Jboot, 2 Bix, and Now Whaler. And if you want to download the mod, I have a link down in the description below. And uh, if you need help installing a mod, I have a link to a video, not by me, but by Leaf, on how to do it and a lot of help in that video. So please go watch that. Um, and again, the only one who decides which mods you should use are you. If you like it, use it. If you don't like it, don't use it. Um, I just tell you my opinion and hopefully show you something that will help you choose your next mod. So, as always guys, you know the drill. Like, subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you know the next time I upload a video. We'll hope to see you again. I'll in the comments below or in the next video. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.